Hello there, my Golden Hill Eagles. Today I'm going to have some fun showing you how to make a very basic drawing that shows movement. And we're going to be thinking about how water drops look when they fall into a puddle. So here is an example that I have been working on for the last little while, and you can see my raindrops as they're falling into um, a puddle. So what I really want you to think about is this whole idea of how lines can help to show movement. Now we can't make this drawing move when we're looking at it, but the way that we use lines and even the shapes we create with those lines can help us to get a feeling of the water rippling away from the water drops. And in school this week, you're going to be learning and talking about the artist Vincent Van Gogh and how he uses lines to show movement and expressing uh, feelings and movement in his drawings. So today we're going to just start with a basic piece of paper. Again, it can be lined paper, colored paper, whatever works best for you. And toward the top of my paper, I'm going to begin by just making what are called teardrop shape, raindrop shapes. And I'm thinking that that pencil may not be showing up as dark as I want, so I'm going to trace over it again with this pencil. So I'm just going to make some different sizes. And place them in different spots on my paper. Maybe I have one coming down into view up here. All right, so once I get a few teardrop, raindrop shapes, on my paper. I'm going to start with the one that's closest to the bottom because I'm going to see this as the one that's kind of already landed in the puddle. And if you've ever watched, maybe when you've been in the bathtub or if you've been uh, bouncing around in puddles, but when you create a sense of movement, if you drop a little drop of water in a puddle, it creates like these rings. And as they get further away from what's caused the motion, they kind of spread out. So as I get further away from my raindrop, I'm going to spread out, but then I'm going to have this one as it's just kind of striking the surface and then as it runs into this raindrop here I kind of mold the two of them together to show that they're merging. Now this one maybe has just broken the surface right up here And even if you think back to a couple of weeks ago, we studied the artist Keith Haring and those movement lines that he added next to his figures to show a feeling or an expression. You could even add some of those coming down with the drops as well. And as they stretch out way back here, they kind of spread out. So on your own, see how you do with starting with a couple of raindrops and think about what kinds of lines, how close together, and then how you can spread them out to show the movement of the water as the ripples get further and further away from the raindrops. Once you get the pencil done, you can go in with crayons, and it doesn't even have to necessarily be 
the color of water. You could think about cool colors, which I've used here, which would be blues and greens and purples. Or maybe you want to think about using warm colors like pinks and yellows and reds and oranges. So those would be some warm colors. Um, I look forward to seeing what what you create. Make sure you take a picture and put it on your Padlet, on our Padlet. Um, make sure you add your name and grade as well. I look forward to seeing what you create um, to show a sense of movement using lines today.